Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can have text to speech in your game. So, so you see whenever this say my name pop up, it's saying the whatever we put in there. So whatever text you have, it can say it in your game. So without any further ado, let's begin. So for that, let's just create new project of game maker language. Let's call it TT is for text to a speech. Let's save. And in here, first thing to do, you should go to my h.io page. That is navidrc.h.io that I will put the link to description down below. You can search text to a speech for game maker and you can download it free. So if you hit download, you can of course donate, I will be much appreciated. But if you don't want to do that, just click on this no thanks, just, just take me to the downloads. And in here you can download it now. When it's downloaded, just go to Game Maker, go to Tool, go to Import Packages. And in here, just go to your download folders and open the text to a speech YYMPS. Hit open in here and what you need is just this text to speech extension. Hit import. The text to speech extension is here now. For testing that, let's just create an object here. Let's call it OBG test. And in here, first thing to do, you should add a create event in here and say text to speech in it. It get two parameters for input. First one is pitch and the normal you can see it here the normal is 10 so let's put 10 in here and the speed of speeching you can set it as well and uh, the normal is 10 so let's just put 10 for the start and after that you should create a room end event and in here say text to a speech a stop so it will release all the resources that is using so after you done that, you can add an event and uh, something like most global left pressed. So wherever they click, the text to speech extension will say whatever we want. So for that, we can say text to speech play. And in here, I want to say, say my name. And wherever you put this line of code, and whatever you put in there to say it will say it so let's just run it to see if it's work before we run it we should go to game option go to android and in here go to architecture and select all of them so it will be able to install on all the devices after that just select android in here and select your emulator or your phone to test it on after that we can hit run but before running we should open our room and add this object test to our room so after that we can run it so know that our game is running wherever and whenever we click on this empty game say my name it will say say my name and you can do this in whatever game you have, wherever and whenever you want. So let me give you an example. You remember from my videos that I did show you how you can create dialogue with animation, with timelines and all of that jazz. So let's just open that project and test, test or text to a speech on there. I did open the project that i did show you on my videos that how you can create dialogue with cool animation and timelines and all of that jazz and now let's just run it to show you what it is and after that let's add a text to a speech to it so you can see our empty game is running and there will be yeah there will be dialogue with cool animation in here and it will disappear after five seconds i did explain to you how you can do that you can watch my videos or there is a playlist that you that is all about GUI and UI and you can watch all of them and learn a lot of things but know that we have this dialogue with cool animation and timelines um, we can do text to speech in it so for that we can go to tools import local packages open this text to speech in here and add this extension to this project at import and now we have this in here. 
So what we should do in here, let's just open this OBG dialog in here. In create event, I want to say takes to a speech in it. Give it 10 and 10 for S for pitch and a speed. That's it for our initialization. And after that, let's just create a room end in here. And in room end, let's just say text to a speech stop. So it will release all the resources. And after that, we can play whatever text we want in wherever and whenever we want. So so for that, let's just open this timeline and you can see after two seconds, if you open it, uh, after two seconds, it will show a dialog and it say, say my name. We want to hear that, right? So let's just hit the middle mouse on this and it will create the function that we create in a script. And in here, I want to say text to a speech play. And in here, instead of just put in whatever we want. Just let's put this my text in here. And no, let's just run it. If you didn't see my video about show dialogue, you can watch it. But if you don't want to watch it, you can use this text to the speech in any game that you have. You should just initialize it. And after that, play whatever text you want in whenever and wherever you want. Now the ga game is running and after two seconds... Say my name. Yeah, there will be dialogue and it will speak all the text in there. So that's how you can do it. I want to show you another thing for text to speech. You can see in here if you say text to, text to a speech, there is a function for changing a speech and changing a speed in runtime wherever we wherever we want and there is a is playing uh, function in here as well that you can use to know if we are playing something or not so before saying text to speech play my text you should check if text to a speech is playing something or not and if it's not playing, you do it like this. If it's not playing, just play my text in here. So it won't overlap anything. So always you should check if the text -to speech is playing. And if it's not, just play whatever text you want. And you know that you can change the pitch in here and change the speed as well. So I want to put three in here. So let's see the result. Of course, you can put value between one and 1000, but the important one is between one and 20. So you don't need to put higher than that. And for the speed as well, you can put from one to 1000, but you can't understand what it says. So it's better to stick with one to 20 for the speed. So now that we put it at three for the for the pitch, let's just run it again, and you can see our game is running. And after two seconds, there say will, my name. Yeah, there is dialogue, and it will speak whatever text we put in there. And you can see with it was with lower pitch. You can change the speed as well. So let's just change that text to speech, change the speed to something like fifteen. Okay. So no, let's uh, change this to 10 as well. So no, let's just run it to see what effect it has. And now our game is running. Say my name. Second, and you can see that it says faster. So that's how easy you can have text to speech in your game. You can use it wherever and wherever you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you want to help me, just hit that subscribe button and like button. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.